Hi, you can call me Professor Wilbur. I'm not a doctor or a medical professional. You know those two-hour videos that claim they are going to fix you but are just a couple of boring, slow-talking people in between a bunch of ads and even if you manage to stay awake you don't learn anything at all? This won't be that. I'll try to keep it short and the least boring I can. I have two main reasons for unstable kneecaps I'm going to talk about and the first is injury. Injury, or trauma, are common in accidents or sports. Even if someone has never had a knee dislocation and is in great shape, at the right time it can happen. If you follow any type of sports, chances are you've seen an athlete get taken down with a knee dislocation. Sometimes it happens with a simple pivot of the foot or pressure on the knee. Sometimes someone gets sacked or they are at the bottom of a dog pile. It can be career-ending but athletes tend to recover better than some of us. Why is that? They are young and their bodies are well-trained machines, but well, I do believe money helps. When there's fame and a career worth millions you have a lot of support, opportunity, and super motivation. The second reason many people dislocate is because it's congenital. Congenital just means a disease or abnormality that is present from birth. This is where we see someone having dislocations for seemingly no reason, just spontaneously. They may be walking, running, playing, doing everyday things with no pressure on the kneecap whatsoever and it sort of slides off the track and takes off. Some people may go a decade with no incidents, or some have many dislocations, even more than once a day. There are a lot of possible reasons for congenital patella instability and I'll talk about a few. A breech birth is when a baby is born feet or bottom first instead of head first. It can put pressure on the baby's knees during delivery and possibly lead to dislocations. This also can cause a baby to be born with hip dysplasia. I read a study a long time ago on how hip dysplasia may cause a patella alignment abnormality that leads to instability. Hip dysplasia is when the hip is out of joint, or the ball of the femur is not in the socket. I think it could cause an infant to not reach developmental milestones and cause muscles to not develop, or develop differently. That would be developmental, but hard to prove so it would just be called congenital. Caregivers may not become aware that an infant has hip dysplasia until the baby is older and that can mean delayed treatment. Patella instability can be genetic. Joint hypermobility can be from faulty collagen, or connective tissue disorders. A rare, but somewhat commonly known example is Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. This can wreak havoc on many areas of the body. An abnormal Q angle is a medical term used to describe the angle between the hips and knees. The higher the Q angle, such as in patients with knock knees, the more the quadriceps pull on the patella causing misalignment. Being knock kneed means the lower leg bones are inclined to the outside. If standing with knees together the ankles do not touch. Being bull legged means the lower leg bones are inclined to the inside. If standing with ankles together the knees do not touch. Other skeletal shapes of the knee, such as a shallow trochlear groove or other abnormal shape can also make it easier for the kneecap to pop off the track. Patella alta is where the kneecap sits higher than normal, and it can make it harder for the bones to influence the kneecap to stay in its groove. Muscle strength and weakness can play a role in stability. The thigh muscles, quadriceps, help hold the kneecap in place. Some people experience a dislocation after walking too much. Damage to or loose ligaments can be a culprit. The MPFL, or medial patellofemoral ligament is responsible for a great deal of keeping a kneecap stable. I've also heard that flat feet, and fallen arches can play a role and it is super important to wear good, supportive sneakers beginning in childhood. Please subscribe to this channel and let me know in the comments if you have any of these. Can you think of any other reasons? If your kneecaps are like mine and attack when you least expect it, you are not alone. Join our Facebook page and group for discussion and support. You can also check out the links in the video details and watch our other videos. Take care.